The situation we're in right now, we're in Amsterdam. It is beautiful here, but we're just people watching. Now let's zoom back to Amsterdam yesterday, around three o'clock. Your body blocking was such that she was facing towards us. Yeah, yeah, because I locked her in. Because I locked in so that she'd have to turn away from the direction she was walking and face the direction she came from. Right. So you've you I'd spin a spinder a sp 180 you, you spin her 180, 180 lock stop her it fair very fair but again we're getting ahead of ourselves that's, that's true. 3 minutes in that's true so she's fumbling inside of her purse and you say well, i said i've only got a moment i'm just with my friends straight. over there so i misdirected and pointed behind back at my friends at which point i believe she would have seen hillary because yes. hillary was wearing sunglasses so hey she can get away with it because I wanted to build a slight bit of social proof. Mm -hmm. So I'm not just, you know, going up to willy-nilly. Work with though, what you got. Yeah, work, work with what you got yeah, if in you've the got, now. If you've got extras to add on, use them. And my extras were you two. Fair. So I was just like, I'm yeah. Glad we could help. That's Hillary over uh, there. That's Eric, my friend over there. Really cool. Naming, naming them yeah, makes, makes them real. real yeah. Makes you value your own friends. Yeah. And that's a DHV that keeps the girl around for another three to five seconds. Yeah. Okay. And I, and I said, they're really cool. We're just here in Amsterdam at the moment, and we just thought, when we saw you walk by, you had the best shoes I, we'd seen all week. Fair and she Because she yeah. was wearing awesome shoes. And Jimmy she, shoes. Yeah, and she was like, oh, thank you, and big smile, looking at me. And then she took the time to look down and up at my body to see what I was wearing. Okay, fair. And luckily I was dressed quite okay. But you know? Interesting that it allows them to, have to a look. look you up and down, yeah, and which I you, want, I which want you them. want them to look up and down, but have them give them a context. Everyone, I feel, all our students got enough time with us to handle their own personal sticking points, to find their plateaus and surpass them by by night two. Oh, well, uh, well, on the, the first night, night we went over two and a half hours. Yeah, we, uh, we go long, we it happens, because once you're here, dude, come on, it's Amsterdam, you're here with us. If you were here with us sitting at the table right now, you know we'd be, <laughs> we'd be definitely pushing you into sets, right? We would get up, Hillary's uh, on walkabout right now, so we would get up and start working these, these day game sets. Indeed. At least before Hillary gets back. we got three minutes. <laughs> go! <laughs> um... But Just yeah. teasing Hillary, I love you. <laughs> so back to um, yeah. So that was that was basically how I used Hillary, and I'd also open girls and just oh, have you met Hillary? We said we were both agreed that you had the second best shoes on tonight. You know, and, and, and I had to bring and Hillary in the set. Fair enough. Now that takes us to close finally, where we began with yeah. opening that single set because you used that on her. I used that, yeah. How to, how to run, how to go. So, I, instead of saying second best shoes, because it's day game, I didn't want to be as cheeky. I was playing a more rapport -y game. That makes sense. So, day game. Yeah. yeah, day game. It's day game, right? So it's a bit more relaxed. And... Slower paced. Yeah. So I went in, and then, as, as she was saying, you know, I, I said, you got... We, we agreed that you had the best shoes we've seen all week. We're living here now. You know, we're living here, we love it. And she pointed out, and she gave me the look over up and down, and she pointed out, oh, your accent, it's, it's from London, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And she goes, oh, I've just moved back last week from London. I was living there three years. It was slightly too busy for me. That's London. But, yeah, and crazy. But now I'm back in Amsterdam, and I'm like, yeah, I'm from London. We had a little chat about commonalities of London which made her feel comfortable and you know I mentioned where I was from Chelsea which is a bit of a DHV because it's a nice sort of posh area so I'd be like yeah I left my cottage in Chelsea to fly over and spend some weeks maybe months in Amsterdam who knows I'm loving it now I've extended my trip and everybody that I've met has been beautiful and lovely which again I would consider that another that's DHV. amazing that's just just chock full of DHVs yeah. that are damn near subliminal yeah and, uh, and ultimately saying that you're in a good current emotional state, yep. that you don't need anything, that you're yep. surrounded by beauty, you're accustomed to it, and you had the courage to, you know, not courage, just the 
you're centered enough to see beauty and go talk to her. Yeah. And I, and I said, you know, we're just meeting people. You know, we, we have now know lots of people here. Right. But we're still meeting the coolest cats in town. And she's smiling. She's, she's now mirroring me, leaning in on the pole where I've locked in, or right. the gate, as it were. And she's not running, it, running off to that appointment that she was so much in a hurry for earlier. Right. Now we're like four and, minutes in. Yeah. And I was like, you know, so what are some good places to see in town to say something normal? Because um, we've been stuck enjoying the centre of town so much, we haven't even had time to venture out. So what, in your opinion, would be your best place to go? Right. And so I threw it back on her, and she was like, oh, yeah, this, this, the old town is really cool. And I was like, I love old towns because you really see the first start of that city and now obviously there's always a new town right and we're experiencing the new town now and she's like you know what if you take my number i can show you around it i can give you any advice you want and i'm like cool you've got whatsapp and she closed me basically yeah, and your demeanor was just and she was under a time manly. constraint as well right because she had to go to that appointment even though she allowed me the Four to six minutes right. of being in set. Yeah, it more. was around six, six, seven minutes. I, yeah. I feel it was under ten. It was at least, it was seven, eight minutes was long. It? Yeah, you were in there for a while. Yeah. And that, yeah. Which is perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's short. Time disappears when you're in set, right. I it's, find. It's short. Uh, longer than three minutes to phone number. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, but actual exchange. And we know it was a good number. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, she's it, replied loads. Exactly. And we've and, been chatting. And, Exactly. So how did you feel when you exchanged contact info uh, and you said, uh, what did you say to say goodbye? Um, well, I said, um, I'm, gonna re- I'm, in, I'm in a rush. You're lo- you look like you're in a rush. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, even though she didn't really, but she, I could tell she had to get to that meeting. Pacing reality. Uh, yeah. Though, yeah. And um, I was like, yeah, you, sh- you should definitely hang out with us. And she was like, yep, I, w- I'm, I want to do that. You know, yeah. she was, I'm going to forget the exact word in, but she was like, in. She, she mirrored wanted. you, she indulged in a seven minute conversation. It was on, it was on, dude. And then um, I, I just said, when you exchange contact information, yeah. what I recommend is going longer. Don't just exchange and go. Yeah, Because yeah. then it feels pick up. Yeah. No, there was the, a little you chat did, after what that. What was yeah. that chat? That chat was basically, that was the part when it was like, hey, you should join us on a night out. Right. Um, and we talked a little bit more about Amsterdam. I, I kept threading back to London, you know, for cool things and places I've been in London. And she experienced that, yeah. And she was like, oh, yeah, I've been to that place, you know, the, the Millennium Eye and certain nightclubs like The Box and right. so on. So she's done the party so life in London. And you're bringing her mind to places in her memory yeah. that are awesome. Yeah, where she's right? had fun. And you're just bringing up all those shared commonalities of these spaces that are existing in her memories yeah. that also exist you uh, in your memories as well. <laughs> I'm still drinking my coffee. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, last little bit to go and then we'll, we'll yeah. boogie. Okay, so... Sorry, the waitress st- came and wanted to steal our cups. Uh, <laughs> so you left saying what? What was the last words you said? So, I, so as she walked up the stairs, she was looking down at me, big mm-hmm. smile on her face. Big you smile. know, I said bye. I, I gave a kiss, kiss, cheek, cheek. You know, so I got in there, and uh, you know, as she walked up the stairs to the building, she was going for well, these stairs yeah. are out on the on the street, so it's not like she's going into yeah. a building going up the stairs. She can see me as she's walking up the stairs. I'm talking over my shoulder like. Uh, yeah, yeah, be seeing to, you soon. You're about yeah. to leave. So yeah. you talk. And I'm walking back to my friends, which was obviously you and Hillary. That's right. And, and we see you walking back. And as you're and walking I, back, what are you thinking? I sh- no, I, I just shout, it's been emotional. Don't change. Oh, uh, yeah. It's been emotional. And that's so lighthearted, yeah. Yeah. right? And great. Yeah. Absolutely great. There's a bit in the middle that Big I Big cheeky smile. Yeah. We talked about the shoes. I said, where are they from? She said, they're Jimmy Choo's, which right. if any of you know, you should know this name. It's the ultra designer shoes. Um, so she was really proud that I noticed her shoes. Fair. And then I said, oh, I've, my friend, she opened stores going around opening the new Jimmy Choo store in any town. So that's a little DHV that yeah, the pretty. woman that's doing that must be a fucking real catch. You Fair. Know? And um, 
my thought is, in her busy life, you brightened her day. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's been emotional. Don't change. And she laughed and giggled exactly. as she walked in the door she, and she began into that meeting on a good energy, fair, I think. Very fair. Exactly. Yeah. She just she just Or met, a modeling job or whatever she was going to meet. She met a man, had an exchange. It was so smooth and comfortable. And then she went in. And we saw her go up to the door and, you know, we waited... You know, and she, by she that checked point, out you two. That's right, exactly. She's seeing who I'm with. Yeah. I'm not like oh, we're eating noodles, so we look like we're busy. Yeah, and I stroll back we very, very nonchalant. Is exactly. The word? You yeah. Just keep like, like not normal. like. Yeah, got a number. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. It's absolutely normal for your high-valued friends to go run off and shoot the shit with someone. You know, if you're if you're seated and just talking to everybody. Let them chat for a bit, do a phone number exchange, it's up to them. They come back, don't high-five them, you know? They make fun of that, they make a parody of that in the TV show Mixology. Yeah, yeah. Where the guy gets a phone number and comes back, and they're hugging, and they're, that's a parody. We can yeah, get away with that, yeah, we can do that, yeah, not on that yeah. single set. And look set. at the girl and hugging. Yeah. Right? It's like, we got her number, yay! Overdo it, right? It's hilarious. But no, that wasn't the But I just walked point. back. We all nodded at each other, smiled, and you, you carried on talking to Hillary, and I just sat, grabbed my food that was still by the canal, right. sat down, and just took a big bite right. of noodles and pork. Exactly. And she, like, life was good. She, she checked out that we were all normal by it all, That's and a, she went important. into the building. Important. Yeah, important. And she was gone. And that so, was it. What some pickup artists do is, right, I mean, they go, they, they get the contact, but then they return to their group of guys, Right. And make a show of it. Yeah. Don't do it. Not good. And, you know, tell your wingman before you go into a set is just fucking be cool. Yeah. Don't, don't wreck my set. There's and, room at the top for everyone. And everyone gets Because it shows lower value that you don't pull this off every day. Like, and, and also, when you're getting the contact detail, don't stare at the phone in silence watching her put the number in. It's I like it's, look it's, away and it's, start incidental. talking about something else. It's something she has to work on while you're still in conversation. Yeah. That was it. And I was it just was, like, I, as she was putting the number in, I was just like, I just could sit and watch these boats go by all day. Okay, so we're, we're, we're going to go back, uh, I think it was three days ago, that Hillary was being utilized in field as a wing woman. Or what we would call a pivot. Yes, right? the pivot. Old school word. I love the old very school old word. school word. There's no school like the old school. By a lovely uh, demented man named, I say that lovingly, Ray Gordon from the uh, old ASF days yeah. called Seduction Fast. Yeah. And that was the one word that he brought into the community is the word pivot. Yeah. It's a girl you uh, are not having sex with and are friends with. Some people would think you're going to blow yourself out by having a woman with you. It's like, oh, you might be a couple. No, 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 no. That's no, what no, some no, people no, think, yeah. though. That's that's crazy to think that. I mean, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I'm just bringing up what I I yeah, yeah. have. Oh, I know, I know you. Now. <laughs> some people think um, that doesn't work. Why well, is this counterintuitive? There, there, Why does it work? There's a I'm few easy. of well, a few reasons just off the top of my head without getting too deep on it. <laughs> um, oh, we can. Yeah. Is one is. Jealousy is the strongest emotion. Apparently, it's even stronger than love. So it's the indicator of love. Yeah, well, there you go. She doesn't and know. No, she's attracted. Say. She's yeah. She doesn't know she's attractive until she's surprised. She's she's by she's jealous of sense, you talking to another girl. A sense of jealousy, a sense of fear of loss of whatever she's invested in you. It, how how long do, does it take to go from? Her just being envious, right, that you're talking to another girl, yeah. to her being actually jealous that you're talking to another girl. See, there's a distinction there. Yeah. Envy doesn't but change anything. One of our students, this man is an up-and-comer, no doubt. However, our focus in this boot camp is on pickup, not mid-game. And he had, on more than one occasion, pulled girls. Now, he, he did have a make-out, right? Yeah. Uh, but at one time, 
he was on a C2. He was in mid-game, having pulled the girls out of one venue and dragged them to another and another, right? We were doing multiple venue loops. Yeah. Builds comfort. Later on, you know, when the girl's in bed with you, she'll think to herself, do I really know this guy? And she'll be flooded with more memories if you have spent the time with her in several different locations <laughs> than if it, you just spend all that time in one location. Well, we had bounced to another location, and he had these two girls with him, joining him, compliant to him, and wasn't holding the set. It was getting boring. Stale. You never steal out your sets. You never get them, you know, on day two. You're still entertaining them. Yeah, yeah. What advice would you have for him? Now, we did give him the critique, right, afterwards. But, but he lost, he ultimately lost that set, you know, because it it grew bored. He has his, the contact info still. Yes. Still yeah. pending, but you still have more work to do in mid-game, right? What advice would you have for... I mean, is that, there's Alexander? a bundle of advice, but if we're going to just give him a few quick pointers that are vital... Grounding sequence. Yeah. Research One, it. Keywords. <laughs> grounding sequence, yeah. indeed. Um, I would say totally has to keep the vibe fun, playful, and you need to be keeping the environment new. So we venue changed maybe nine times right. within uh, four hours or five hours of knowing the girls. And when you have girls in your arms, as you go from place to place, you become the little superstars on your entryway. Exactly. They, and you're making them laugh on the end. So yep. we come in boisterous and big and We happy. walk in as the, the stars, the entourage, the, the, you know, the crew, the A-team. That's what we do. Right. People look. People... The, the big muscly guy moves to the side as you pass by girls in your arms. You know? And a smile on your face. Current emotional state. Open sets a lot easier, my friends. You could still be badass like Joe Pesci. But it's your birthday. And... Yeah, I mean... It, he ran out of material as well. He didn't... He, he, uh, I think he was relying a lot on certain gambits where he, he needed to learn to <coughs> uh, feed off hooks, play along with what their feedback was. Like, so, you know, you say something, they say something, how can we play with what they've returned in the conversation? You know what I think Alexander didn't realize would happen what when you get this structure down and you know enough material to meet the objective mm. of each phase you get it down it's super consistent and fast isn't it yeah exactly. I mean, once you get it you once get it. you get it you get it and he's already got it and now he doesn't know what to do with it yeah He's like, oh, wow. It's like, oh, my God, that's attraction. Attract I mean, he's got compliance. He's got attraction. Right? It's, it's he's like, got trust established. It's like Cyclops out of the X-Men. He's He gets the eye power, and it's just beaming everywhere, and you know, <laughs> he's destroying everything, and right. he needs to learn to wield the glasses. Put the glasses back on, my friend, because yeah. when you take them off, you're going to charm it. the pants off of the women you meet. Remember your smile, son. <laughs>